Taking 25 micrograms of this vitamin every day may lower your creatinine levels fast. But too many people are taking it all wrong, causing more harm than good. Catherine from Double O Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Let's talk about the kidney vitamin. This is the first vitamin your doctor will check your levels for and also the vitamin most kidney patients are deficient in. It's a proven fact that up to 90% of people with kidney problems have low levels of this vitamin. This has been linked to fatigue, frequent infections, bone pain, a dozen other nasty symptoms and it can cause kidney disease to progress faster. On the other hand, keeping levels of this vitamin in the correct range through supplementation has been proven time and time again to be one of the best things someone with kidney disease can do to lower their creatinine levels. Yes, what I'm talking about is the kidney vitamin, the sun vitamin, vitamin D. You should already be supplementing this one. I do every day. Supplementing vitamin D3 in doses of 25 micrograms per day is very often recommended to people with kidney problems. It may even lower your creatinine. But wait a moment before starting to take vitamin D3. There is a hidden risk connected to this vitamin very few people know about. Because while taking vitamin D3 supplements works for some, unfortunately some others may receive more harm than benefits from supplementing this vitamin. Now today's video is going to be a very easy guide on how to avoid this problem and correctly supplement this vitamin. Wait, 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 what? Why would I need a guide on how to supplement the vitamin, you may ask? Because a lot of people, even doctors, are getting this vitamin all wrong. There is a hidden cause for low vitamin D levels even in people supplementing it we need to address. And it's a fact that supplementing the wrong form of vitamin D may do more harm than good. So let's start from the beginning. Should you be supplementing vitamin D? There are various symptoms that can tell you if you have low levels of this vitamin. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to fatigue, frequent infections, bone pain, but also depression, high blood pressure and high blood glucose levels. Vitamin D is also crucial for calcium absorption. In case of a deficiency, your bones will be rubbed and you will be at high risk for fractures. If you have any of these symptoms, don't wait to break a bone. Talk to your doctor and get checked for vitamin D levels. It's extremely common for these levels to be low, especially during the winter months. But as I was saying, just supplementing vitamin D may not be enough. There are two crucial nutrients you need to supplement with vitamin D if you want it to protect your kidneys instead of damaging them. Yes, there is a common mineral deficiency in people with kidney disease that will prevent the absorption of vitamin D. This means that people taking a vitamin supplement may not see improvements in the serum levels of vitamin D if they don't supplement this key mineral too. This is a very common deficiency in people with kidney problems and it's also associated with increased blood pressure. So if you supplement vitamin D, never forget to supplement Magnesium! Yes, this is one of the cheapest minerals to supplement and according to recent research, it may save your life. Magnesium deficiency is a common yet dangerous one. In particular, a recent study found out that vitamin D can't be metabolized without sufficient magnesium levels. Meaning, vitamin D remains stored and inactive for as many as 75% of kidney disease patients. To make things worse, supplementing vitamin D without enough magnesium has been linked to higher phosphate levels. So consult your doctor and see if you need to start supplementing magnesium too. You see, getting enough D vitamin is not as easy as just popping a pill. And there is another essential nutrient that's even more crucial for vitamin D absorption than magnesium. It's vitamin K2. 
If vitamin D is the kidney vitamin, we can certainly call vitamin K2 the bones and heart vitamin. Most people, even doctors, have never heard of vitamin K2, but this powerful nutrient plays an essential role in many aspects of your health, especially the health of your kidneys. This little known vitamin is only found in a couple of foods, natto, a Japanese delicacy, and organ meats. Yes, getting enough vitamin K2 from food is almost impossible. This is why taking 100 micrograms of vitamin K2 a day means that more calcium is going to be in the bones and less in the heart and kidneys. This could lead to a serious improvement in kidney health and less risk of death. And we should also consider that scientists are starting to think that taking vitamin D may be harmful, even toxic, if you are not taking vitamin K2 with it. Many supplement brands today are putting together these three nutrients for this exact reason. And while taking one of these supplements may be great for the health of your kidneys and bones, please consult your doctor before starting any new supplement, but especially those with several ingredients. Yes, there is still a hidden danger linked to vitamin D you should know about. Now guys, let's talk about the biggest danger kidney disease patients are going to face when supplementing vitamin D. Not many people know this, but the kidneys are needed to convert vitamin D3 into the active form the body uses. This is why some kidney patients cannot get their vitamin D levels in the correct range even when supplementing it. There is a very special form of vitamin D made only for people with kidney disease. Supplementing it may be your only way to get vitamin D levels in the correct range. I've explained exactly what this vitamin is and how to get it in my video up here. Watch it now if you want to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.